Hello mom, good afternoon. This is Marian Gail Bueno from BSN English 2 Aristotle Sam. And today I'm gonna discuss the letter the Philippine literature from the apprenticeship period to the contemporary period. So the development of apprenticeship. The apprenticeship period is said to be a stage of imitation of the works of American writers because some of the works produced during the period religiously followed quite a structure without putting much emphasis on their creativity and the message to be conveyed. However, it was in the year 1925 when a major shift in a period happened. Paz Marquez Ventis penned the very first Filipino short story in an English language that stars which defied the stereotype of the time. The contemporary, the flowering of Philippine literature in the various language continues continue especially with the appearance of the new publications after the martial law years and the and the resurgence of committee literature in nineteen in the nineteen sixties and the nineteen seventies. So these are the authors of contemporary period. Contemporary period. So we have here number one is Lohal Hati Bautista. Number two is Carlos Sampayan Bolosan. Number three is Alejandro Rosas. Number four is Francisco Arcelania. Number five is Macario Peneda. Number six is Zoilu Golong. Number seven is Gina Apostol. And number eight is one of the famous authors in contemporary period is Jose Garcia Velia. And the number nine is Edith El Tiempo. Number ten is Leslie Tenario. Authors and their literary works. We have number one is Lohalhati Bautista. Lohalhati Bautista is a phenomenal novel such as A Decada Si Tinta Bata Bata Panu Kaginawa. And the Gapu are all written by the multi awarded Lohalhati Bautista. She was one of the primary female writers in the history of contemporary Philippine literature. Although a college dropped out, her writing ability is praised and admired by many. As a writer, she was highly recommended for their honest realism and fearless exploration of Philippines women. And political issues, both these star and several balance awards for her novels that expose injustice and portrays women activism during the martial law period. Aside from being known a local, aside from being being known from locally, works by the Lohal Hati also are also being recognized abroad. In fact. She was the only one. She she was the only Filipino who got included in the book of foremost international women written published in Japan in 1991. Lastly, excerpts from her novels have been anthologized in a book of a short stories written by Filipino women, which was published in Finland by the Finnish. Philippine society. Here is a Carlos Sampayan Bolusin. In November 24, 1913 to September 11 to 9, 1956, Carlos Sampayan was an, uh, was an English language Filipino novelist and poet who spent most of his life in the United States. He is best known Worse to die is the semis autobiographical America as in the heart but he first gained fame for his 1943 essay on the freedom from want 
one it one one of his famous essays published in March 1943 was chosen by the Saturday Evening Post to economy its publication of the Norma Rockwell painting Freedom from One, part of a series based on Franklin D. Roosevelt's for freedom speech, Maxim Labor was in his literary agent in 1944. So we have a three Alejandro Rosas. So Alejandro Rosas in 1913, July 13, 1924 to May 23, 2011, was a Filipino author. Was a Filipino author, essayist, dramatist, and a national artist of the Philippines from literature. He served as a secretary of education, education hall from 1961 to 1965 during the term of Philippines, Philippine President Diosdado Macapagal. Roses, Roses did not only focus on the short stories alone. As he also published books such as the Cogs and the Night, Kites, in 1959, then 1980 and something to crow about 2005 of a cox and kites earned him the reputation as the century's best writer of humorous stories it also contains a widely anthologized piece my brother peculiar chicken pista is a book of essays featuring folk festivals such as Ermitas, Bola Flores, Aklans, Antay, at Tihan, Anegas, Peña Franca. So, Macari, wait, let's just move. Macaria Pineda was a Macaria Pineda was a Filipino short story writer, novelist, and columnist. He started out writing short stories in English. Five minutes. His first story was published by Graphic. His other English stories were Sita, Nila, and Auntie Writes the Ending. He is most well known for his stories written in Tagalog. In 1937, his story Walang Maliw Ang Mga Bituin was chosen as one of the 10 best stories of the, the, of the year by Mabuhay. In 1943, his story Suyuan sa Tubigan won a second prize in a literary contest by Liwai Wai. His short stories was his short stories was has appeared in the various magazines and publications includes including Sinag Tila The Igdig Ilang Ilang Bulaklak Malaya Aliwan Tagumpay Paru Paru Kislap and Liwayway Zeglu Galang in July 27, 1895 was a Filipino writer from Pampanga He is credited as one of the pioneering Filipino writers who work who work with the English language he is the author of the first Philippine novel written in English language, A Child's Sorrow, published in 1921. He became known for his publication written in English. He is known for being responsible for the first publication several Philippine works in English. A Child's Sorrow, 1921, the first novel in English. The Philippines, 1921, first volume in the Philippines, Legend and Folk Tales written in English. Life and Success, 1921, first volume in the Philippines, essay in English. The Box of Ashes and Other Stories, 1924, the first volume of Philippine short stories in English. Gina Apostol, Gina Apostol, an acclaimed author of historical fiction, most notably. Gone Dealer's Daughter and Insurrecto, the latter of which meticulously uncovers our contemporary lack of knowledge about 
often forgotten Philippine American War. Gina Apostol's, Apostol's third book, Gun Dealer's Daughters, won the 2013 Pen Open Book Award and was shirtla shirtlisted for the William Sorian International Prize. Her first two novels, Bibliopsy and the Revolution, according to Raymond de Mata, both won the One Laya Prize for the Nobel Philippine National Book Award. She was writer in residence at the Phillips Exeter's Academy at the Philo and Civitalia Renieri in Umbria, Italy, among other follow among other fellowships. Her essays and stories have appeared in the New York Times, Los Angeles Review of Books, Foreign Policy, Gettysburg Review, Massachusetts Review, and other. Jose Garcia Villa. In August 5, 19... 08 to February 7, 1997, Jose Garcia Villa was a Filipino poet, literary critic, short story writer, and a painter. He was awarded the National Artist of the Philippines title for the literature in 1973, as well as the Guggenheim Fellowship in Creative Writing by Conrad Aiken. He is known he is known to have introduced the reversed consonance rhyme scheme in writing point point three as well as the extensive use of punctuation marks, especially common commas, which made him known as the comma spike. As an editor as an editor, Villa Cruz published Philippine Stories Best 25 Short Stories of 1928-1929, an anthology of the Filipino short stories written in English that were mostly published in the literary magazine Philippines Free Press for that year. It is the second anthology to have been published in the Philippines after Philippine Love Stories by Editor Paz Marquez Benitez in 1927. Villa described his use of commas after every word similar to Shura's archi architectonic and measured pentalism where the points of color are themselves the medium as well as the technique and statement. This is you know, this unusual style forces the readers to pursue to pose after every word shown the piece of poem on resolution in what Delia calls a linear, linear piece of words. So he did El Tiempo. Tiempo was born in Bayambong, Nueva Vizcaya. Her poems are in intricate verbal Transfigurations of significant experience as revealed in two of her much anthologized pieces, Halaman and Bonsai. Halaman and Bonsai. As functionist, Tiempo is a more is a morally profound. Her language has been marked as a descriptive, but and burdened by scrupulous detailing she is an influential tradition in philippine literature in english these are her literary works novels of lead of theme in 1978 his native cause in 1979 the alien corn in 1992 and one tilting leaves in 1995 so the last but not the least is Leslie Tenorio. Tenorio. Leslie Tenorio Monstrous is a gorgeously written short story collection. What I love the most about these stories are the characters' relationships so messy and complex and genuinely full of love. These stories complex 
literally resolve themselves but that's how it works in real life listed scenario is the author of the novel the sign of good fortune and the story collection monstrous which has was named a book of the year by the san francisco chronicle